Hi everyone. The time has come to do page number 12 in our Mixed Media Morsels Motivations Journal. Um, I did go ahead and reattach or actually attached a new uh, sorry ribbon on my book. Some of you may remember the previous one I had on there. I drug through some paint <laughs> And it made a big mess, and so I just replaced it with a new one. And I wanted to show you, I just attached two buttons to the bottom of the ribbon. These you might recognize. They're very, very old. This uh, Sticko brand of button-ups. And they have adhesive on the back. Uh, it's a very thin foam adhesive. And so I just kind of bunched up my, my ribbon and uh, stuck one on one side and flipped it over and stuck the other one on. I did put a little bit of tacky glue in there too and then I clipped it together and let it dry but I thought it was cute how it can um, no matter what side is uh, showing it just matches and just works with all the colors in this fabric so I was glad to get that done. I figured I, I should do that at least by the last page. <laughs> so um, yeah we're gonna do our page 12 and um, I've gone ahead and put a single coat of gesso on the page because I wanted to eliminate a little bit of those uh, lines and uh, gray areas. Um, some of them showing through is just fine, but I'm gonna be putting a piece of tissue paper on. Whoops, it's upside down. I'm gonna put a piece of tissue paper on and it has a gold uh, grid. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuck down and um, get it trimmed up and then we'll go ahead with the page. I have this uh, cute little Christmas tree that uh, came off of a piece of Christmas stationery, and I decided that um, I would like to cut it off. I'm going to repurpose a couple of things like that um, for this page. I just thought it would be really sweet on that gold background. I really like that. And um, I've also got a Christmas card front. I've already cut it out uh, of the card. And it's got all these cute little square, um, well, they're not all square. They're, they're very irregular, all of them. And I just think they're adorable. All these tiny little uh, squares of holiday uh, icons, I guess you'd say. And so I'm gonna cut these out and I thought they would make a real cute border along the edge of the page. And um, on that stationary page, there were also some hearts that um, were scattered around the page um, that match the little hearts that are on the tree. And they've got a little bit of gold uh, on them as well. So I may add some of those in with, um, with the little square bits. So I'm just gonna cut these apart and, um, and then I'll come back and glue it all down to the page.
All right, so I took all of my little pieces and edged around with my brown uh, pit pen, and I edged around my tree uh, so it stands out just a little bit better on the background. And, and I've got these laid out here uh, in roughly the places where they're gonna go on each page. But before I put them on, I wanna make a little border uh, all the way around the page. And this is um, just a chisel tip Sharpie. And um, I don't think I'll be having any issue with it bleeding through because of so many layers here. This side, possibly, but I figure that's gonna be covered anyway, you know. Um, the next time I, you know, decide to fill up like the rest of this book. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm going to just draw this border and, um, and then we'll see how everything looks uh, when it's laid out. I may add some dots with the Posca pen also. But um, I think I'm going to just slide these up out of the way because they're going to just get tossed because I'm going to turn the book. So let's just move these up here for now, okay. Now, I might want to put my little my little blocks on first and then maybe go in and put a dot or two in between each one. Um, let's see. Probably just one dot in between would probably look cute. All right, so let me get my clip so I can get this page a little flatter. And I can remind myself where everything's going. That looks really cute on that red border. I love it. All right, so this one's going in the, in the top corner. So these need to come up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be cute. All right, let me get my tree in place and then I'll know where I want, I'm gonna want all the other pieces. Yep, I like that right there, okay. Since these are uh, on a thicker cardstock, I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use my tacky glue, <clears throat> tacky glue to stick those down. So we got uh, little dots uh, in between. I think that looks really cute. Looks very fun and Christmassy. I think I want to uh, outline that border a little bit. I should have done that, of course, before I put the, uh, the little bits on, but 
You know, I'm going to do everything backwards. If I have an opportunity, I'm going to do it that way. <laughs> and I can see that the Posca pen is picking up a little bit of the red and turning these circles pink. So I will probably go back over and hopefully bring back the white again on the dots. That's cute, that helps the border stand out a little bit more. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, take a red and maybe a green Sharpie and just add some doodling. I was thinking about maybe some little swirls. Um, I think that would be kind of cute. Just little here and there swirls. all straight in a row. <laughs> and we got to do something about that, right? Let's see. I'm going to pretend like there's one back here behind that one. And then we'll add a couple of green ones. I drew a couple more little um, swirls over here because where I'm going to put my quote there, um, these were covered up. So I wanted to have a few more of them out there. So I went ahead and put them on before I put my quote down. So speaking of the quote, it's, um, I guess you would call it a quote. Um, this is my own. And um, I look at it more as a motto. You know my motto. You, you guys hear me repeat this all the time. And so I thought this would be a really good one um, to put in our book because it is motivational and it reminds us that it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be fun. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> so I'm going to put that here and uh, then I think I'll probably outline it. I did uh, edge the paper but I think it needs a, a little bit of a bolder uh, outline because this is a you know busy page with all the things going on so I want to make sure everything is kind of grounded but, um, but yeah I think it's going to be perfect there I just doodled a little bit of I printed this out on the uh, computer and um, I drew in the little stripes here and I drew in the little branches <clears throat> right there so I'm going to put that down and um, And we'll have this quote in our book as the last one um, of the 12 months that we've been doing this. I don't believe it's been 12 months already. It's hard to believe. All right. Um, let's see. I think that's pretty good right there. I think I'm going to take my painter's pen and come back and put a little bit of gold um, on these. Um, not a lot because I don't want to lose. In fact, you can't really see it very much because of the grid. So I'm just going to put little dots in the center of each one. These dots are a little bit shinier than the gold that's on the background. So that's kind of nice. missed one. All right, I'm going in with the uh, black Sharpie and just 
outlining the little quote. We do want that to stand out and not get lost in the busy uh, busyness of the background. And I think I'll take um, the smaller sharpie and go around the tree. go. Simple little page. Repurposing some older Christmas items and using Sharpies. So um, I hope you guys have fun making your page. Being the last one is always kind of special and memorable. Um, and then like I said, there'll be a couple of pages left over uh, behind this one. And because of the layers here, that Sharpie did not bleed. None of the Sharpies led through so that was good so there's <clears throat> so there's like two more layouts and a single piece uh, in the back of my book and um, I wanted to show you guys that I did fill in those two pages in the center the other day I just put this together real quick um, both of these background pieces are scrapbook papers and um, I just uh, tore out a little piece of craft paper and wrote uh, another quote. You guys can feel free to use these extra page quotes if you want to, but you don't have to. Um, any of the extra pages, <clears throat> excuse me, you can put any quote that motivates you, you know, that's fine. Um, and then I just stamped a little bit uh, on this page and that's all I did. And then on this one, I did a little bit more. Um, I had cut my background paper just a tiny bit too short uh, over here on the side, and so I punched a border out of uh, some music paper. I punched uh, a little scallop border and um, placed that there, and uh, then added a piece of burlap and um, have a little quote here that says, it takes as long as it takes, be gentle on yourself. That's a Kelly Ray Roberts quote. I know this, these are very small. Um, I'll, um, I'll try to put a picture at the end of the video here so that you guys can see these up close. Um, but a piece of burlap and the journaling card, and I had two journaling cards, so I took that, um, can't think what that's called again now. You know, the zigzag. Can't think of the, the name, but I know what it is. It'll come to me. Anyway, I took it and I cut leaves out of those like I did once before, um, where, you know, the lines that look like the veins are already there for the leaves. So I think that's kind of fun to do. And I just used that gold pen and just doodled it a little bit. Um, some little tiny swirls on that page. Uh, Chevron, that's the name of that. <laughs> Could not think of it. So um, I did fill in those two, and it looks great. They're two separate pages, but I, I made them to kind of match, they kind of go together. And um, this is uh, purple area is in the middle, um, but I think it blends well and it looks good. And this is just a little scrap of fabric uh, that I had torn and I ripped it up a little bit to make it look, um, you know, kind of grungy and just put it right over the bottom of that card. If I, do, uh, if I do these pages uh, at the back, which I would like to do because I would really like to have a full book um, full of these uh, motivational quotes. And uh, I will come back and um, show you what I've done. I don't know if I'll film the process or not, I might. But um, it may be that uh, because of the time of year it is, it may be that I'll only have time to uh, maybe do a flip through. And at that point, I'll show you what I created for those last couple pages. So we'll see what I can fit in, what I have time for. And um, in the meantime, you guys have fun with your books. I really did enjoy this project this year. And um, 
Can't believe we've done five years of morsel, uh, mixed media morsels projects that last all year long. I think that is so fun. So um, I do have a plan in mind for uh, next year. I'm already working on it. And um, so watch, uh, watch for a video coming up this month uh, to tell you about what we're gonna do next year. And uh, make sure that you have subscribed and that you have clicked the notification bell so that you'll receive notification about what we're gonna be doing for next year's Mixed Media Morsels. And I really appreciate everybody playing along so much this year. We have had so much fun and we've had so many gorgeous pages posted in the Facebook group. So um, if you're not a member there, be sure to um, come over and click the join button. Be sure to um, respond to the group rules that are there on the join page. If you don't see the rules there or you're not able to click to agree to the rules, um, you may need to either change uh, your browser or change the device that you're using, like change from the mobile to the computer or vice versa. So um, anyway, yeah, we'd love to have you over there and um, we're having a lot of fun every month sharing uh, these really fun pages and these, this really cute journal that we've uh, been creating all year. So come on over and have fun with us. And um, thanks again, everybody. Like I said, it's been a great year and I'm looking forward to a whole lot more fun next year. So take care, everyone, and uh, continue to be safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.